Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're going to look at the readings for the 20th week in Ordinary Time, and it is focusing on a race. Have you ever felt like life is a race? You know, you got going and maybe you were ahead for a while, but now you feel like you're trailing back and people are passing you by and you're not quite sure if you're even going to be able to finish the race, whether it's your marriage or your children or health at work, whatever it might be. Well, life is kind of a race, and it's a race from the time you're born to the moment you take your last breath. It is a race, and there's a goal in the race, and that is the beatific vision. Big fancy word for to see God face to face in heaven. And along the way in the race, you're going to have an awful lot of opportunities to take a detour, to be discouraged by what other people say. Maybe you even experience some kind of injury along the way. But be sure of this, life is a race. The writer to the Hebrews in chapter 12 says as much. He says, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight in sin which clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him, Hebrews says, consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. Now that is an amazing thing. The writer of Hebrews is encouraging you to run a race and you, it uses, the, the uh, reading uses Jesus as an example that he was in a race and he really had some obstructions along the way. And we're not to the point of shedding our blood like Jesus. Now there's three major points that the writer of Hebrews brings out in running this race if we're going to be successful. Number one is he says that we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. I don't know if you know this, but in the race you're in right now in your life, whatever you happen to be going through, you're not alone. That is good news in itself. You're not alone. Who's with you? Well, you have the body of Christ here on earth in your local parish to assist you and to help you and to pray with you. But you're also are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses that many church scholars tell us really speaks of the communion of saints. In other words, St. Augustine, St. Therese, uh, St. Jerome, Athanasius, we could go on and on. They represent this cloud of witnesses who are surrounding you in the race and guess what they're doing? They're cheering you on. They've already run the race and they were successful. They've got the sweats back on and now it's your time and they're cheering you. You're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Let me, let me encourage you in this. If you are in the race right now and you're feeling like you're lagging behind, pick a couple saints. Pick a couple saints that you're fond of, that you believe that their prayers would be effective in your life and ask them to pray for you as you run this race. I do. I've got a couple favorites, St. Augustine and St. John Paul II. I ask them constantly, pray for me, pray for me. I'm not alone. You're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. The second thing is the writer of Hebrews tells us to deal with the burden of sin. If we're going to run this race, we cannot afford to carry baggage in our life. No matter how small or how big, it will, it will impede your race. It really will. So we're told here to lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. My friend, I want to encourage you this week to go to confession. And if it's venial sin in your life, you've weakened your relationship with Christ, it's time to heal that. If you have broken your relationship with Christ, you're out of the race. You need to go to confession and to get right with God. If you're going to win this race, you got to tend to the baggage in your life and the weights that are unnecessary in this race. And you know as well as I do, there's a lot of unnecessary weights that we can gather in our life. The third thing is, he says, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus in the race. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. I love this because if your eyes are fixed on Jesus, every step you take, every decision you make, every word you say will be a word, a decision, a step with your eyes fixed on Jesus. It will change the way you live. You know, I ride a motorcycle, and if you've never ridden one before, you wouldn't know this, but as you are riding and you see a turn up ahead, around the bend, 
The last thing you do is look at the front wheel. The last thing you do is look at your steering column. The last thing you do is to look at the road right in front of you. If you do that, you're gonna miss your turn. So what do you do? You fix your eyes clear up around the turn where you wanna end up. You wanna end up around the bend another three, 400 feet. And so as you're riding, you fix your eyes and your bike, your body, everything leans into what you are looking at. You see, what you're looking at has a lot to do with what happens right now with your life. And I think that's true in the spiritual life also in this race that we're running. You don't want to look down at the ground. You don't want to focus on all the problems. You don't want to listen to all the naysayers. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Deal with the, 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 uh, the sin in your life and these things that entangle you in your life. And number three, realize you're not alone. You're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Now, this, uh, this uh, reading from Hebrews chapter 12 sounds in some ways glamorous, doesn't it? It's the race, you're on the motorcycle, it's great, we're gonna do great. But look at the first reading of this week. It applies to people like Jeremiah 38, who, what's he doing? They threw him in a pit. They threw him in a pit and this scripture about the race has as much to do with the pits of life as it does persevering at work with your children and with your family. So whatever you're going through right now, whether you feel like you're in the pit or whether you are out there in full stride right now, keep your eyes on Jesus. You gotta, you're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Deal with the sin. Keep those eyes fixed. God bless you.